I was born in Santa Monica, quote unquote, down the street from the Santa Monica Viceroy. Looking at that tower, wanting to paint it, wanting to be part of that, because it just begs for some art. I guess somehow, some way, a friend of mine got a job in the Viceroy brand, and her job is to actually curate the vibe, and she said, you guys should have some art. And I guess it somehow just all lined up, and that, that became my connection. My connection to Los Cabos would be, I'm part Mexican, but really with Mexico and this particular region. I come here so many times to go surfing and being that the water's warm and just short vacations because it was so close to LA, so I've really come to you know love this place and get to know it. My first impression of this Viceroy was, It's just really, really cool. It blew my socks off. Like I looked at it and was like, this is a hotel? You show up here and it's just, it's one of the coolest places I've ever seen. I kind of do my signature pattern all the time which I call fire flowers. They're done freehand at the time. Those kind of lay the lattice work for the organic matter, the, the, the leaves to come in. The leaves kind of represent life, people to me. And I painted them all from just memory and not from photographs. So they came out with this like really kind of etheric, artsy feeling. The point being that they're more like people, you know, we're all similar in more ways than we are dissimilar. So I kind of wanted to make a leaf, just a leaf, nondescript leaf that, you know, you, you could pick out and try and label it, but all you could really see was that it was some organic piece of life. The highlight of this experience is getting to paint in a place on a canvas that's so visually stunning and something that's so much above most walls that are even considered to ever be painted. It's so fun, it's so cool to see it you know, when it's finished and it's definitely something that stands out from the rest of the stuff that I've done.